That's the guy we traded for. That Deuce man. Bell. He's coming in from Detroit. We gave up five second round picks. Don't fret over that. Um, second round guys, again, um, hard to come by when you talk about difference makers in the league. And if I was to tell you right now, name the last three second round picks the Hawks took in the draft over the last three years, you couldn't do it. Because none of those guys have panned out. We took Sharif Cooper, hometown kid. Oh, he's going to be great. Mm. Not even in the league right now. Yeah. We took Skylar Mays in 2020. He's a Skyhawk, right? He was. He's not anymore. He's still in the G League. Mm. We took Bruno Fernando in the second round in 2019. He's back with the team and probably won't be on the team. Tyler Dorsey in 2017. Guys, we can go on and on. Second round picks, relax. I know some guys are like, man, that's a lot of picks. Those are the negotiable ones. When you start giving up first rounders like we did for DeJounte Murray, there's got to you know, be a return on your investment. I still, it's still too early, Carl, to pull the plug on DD Luzada. <laughs> Bum. <laughs> I'm looking at the year by year on the Hawks right here. He came from Spain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, look, for every Kendrick, uh, I should say Draymond Green or obviously Joker, uh, Joker th- there's, that's the exception. Those are the Brady's. The sixth round pick, those are the Brock Purdy's. Uh, It has really become, and again, back in the old days, you know, there were like five and six rounds of the NBA draft. Not anymore, for good reason. All right, 404-741-0929. If you're just joining us, trade deadline came and went. Here's what the message is, okay? This This is my message. This is not the Hawks. This is what I believe they're saying. We're good enough. We haven't played our best basketball yet, but we're going to. And we're going to stay the course. Because by keeping bogey, Mike, you're getting all these calls around the league, bogey. Teams are interested. You you keep JC. Teams were interested. And, again, it was about the right fit and what you were going to get in return for him. But you stayed the course. So now what? You add some depth. You add some shooting. You add some defense, right, Mm -hmm. some defensive presence, a little bit more to to add to what we already have. And you say, well, we really don't have a whole lot. Well, this guy will help on the, the wings and as far as versatility. You've improved your team today. But how much? That's the real question. And if you're going to say, well, I still don't believe Dukes we're going to win a championship. Mike, I don't either right now. I don't know if it's a championship no. team because they haven't played like it. Well, I mean, we ex- we expected with DeJounte Murray's addition, if everybody played to their you know, potential. And, yeah, we're reading into what uh, DeAndre Hunter did in game five against Miami. You know, that was a lot of it. And, and they've certainly been on the come on that. You know, you wish now in hindsight that you had red velvet, but that would have put you into the luxury tax. If you had red velvet and bogey, you had this guy sitting. I mean, you got that's a that's a lot of guys coming off the bench. That's a lot of scoring. I know sometimes Hunter's defense can be hit or miss. Yep. I mean, Herter's and two, but Herter's been unbelievable. The reason the Kings are actually going to make a playoff run is because red velvet is still popping at forty percent, as we talked about off the air. You brought that up. I just think two things. No, you were never getting Durant. Guys, okay, so Durant, yeah, it's a pipe dream, guys. It was not happening with Kyrie. We didn't have the, we didn't have what they'd want. And then again, you got the big risk with Kyrie. You got to get him to stick around. Otherwise, you're doing Danny Manning all over again. I know <laughs> Hawks fans remember that one. So I like where we're at, but it's incumbent on. I say it every week on the show. Do your job, John Collins. Do your job, John Collins. For all the crap that we went down, you're still a hawk. And I think it just rolls like water off the duck's butt on this point with John Collins. I think he said the right thing earlier today. Chuck I do, too. too. I do, too. Can, Chris, can we play that real quick as we reset everything that's going on? It's Dukes and Bell at Sports Radio 92.9 mm. The Game. Um, Matt Lombardo's on the way. And, again, as we talk about all these things, we're trying to get you caught up. But this was with Channel 2 today. This was John earlier. Again, they're getting ready for the Suns tonight. And he was asked about all the trade stuff. Try to be me and try to be goofy. Keep a smile on my face and laugh. Um, Talk to my loved ones, uh, and really, that's that's really it. You know, I'm trying to just find some type of joy throughout the day. As I said, take take all the extra extra stuff out during the game. Um, other than that, it's just really hard trying to just meditate. Yeah. <laughs> keep it keep it all keep it all even. Look, he's he's a good dude. We always enjoy when we get a chance to talk to John, and he's got to be able to just compartmentalize that. So here's the good news. Bogey apparently is still here if we're reading everything right. Um, there were some rumors the Lakers were involved or interested in Bogey, some other teams. But so maybe, Carl, he opts out. Maybe they'll have the player option either way. You may get nothing for him. You may have to eat it and pay. There's a lot of things that can happen. But I will say this. Landry Fields, he's going to say, that's why we played that sound bite. The team is on the floor. He believes in this team. Now can these guys go? And if you're the player and Landry Fields, let's be honest, we made fun of everything he said the other day. He's putting his neck on the line for these guys. Do these guys respond? He's saying, I believe in you guys. Now go do it. Does that resonate with Trey and company? I don't know. I want to say it does. But why hasn't it already? I don't know. 
like you, you needed to go get Sadiq Bay for it to resonate with you? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I'm sitting here at 408, and I'm wondering what team's going to show up tonight against the Suns, and what team's going to show up Saturday against the Spurs, and what team's going to show up Monday against the Hornets. I'm wondering what team's going to show up against the Knicks next Wednesday. We'll be there, by the way. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is why, Mike, I've been in flux all year with this team because I don't – I want to believe. I want to say, yeah, they've got it. Man, there are pieces. There are times we go on runs, and I go, that, that looks good. I don't know. That's where I'm at today. Right. I mean, we, we uh, started the show, and I was on Twitter today, and as Squid Billy always said, damn, damn, damn cesspool. But I was talking to some guys, and they were like, oh, man, you guys are so hard on Hunter. Hunter's not working for free, guys. They gave Hunter a four-year $90 million deal. It's $22.5 million a year. So I would say that's a level of expectation that comes along with that. We need more of that Miami game five. I don't expect 30 every night, but give me 20. Can you do that? Can Trey play every game down the stretch? Can you can you not bail out in the 26 games we've got left? That's big, too. Tonight's a game you've got to win. Is that all we got? Let me look at the map. Is it 26? Let me do the numbers. Because here's my other question. 27 and 28, that is 55. So 27. Is that enough? Man, that's nothing. Well, I mean, if, if you should Like, seriously, like, if we're going to look yes. up, it's going to be May, and we're right. going to be like, oh, season's over. Where are we at in the playoffs? Is that enough? Miami didn't really do anything. I was wondering if Miami was – they didn't really have the money. They were uh, – they're kind of like in a cap hell themselves. They overspent on Hero. Yeah. So they're kind of like in a situation that they're, – they're right for the picking right now. You know, are the Nets – you know, look, the Nets got bridges, but are they going to be able to do anything with it? They, that could be a team that goes sideways. I mean, who are you looking for leadership, Ben Simmons? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a mess with Brooklyn. Brooklyn! Right. 